Hi everybody, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I am doing a collaboration with three other Colorado YouTube artists, um, Shami Dixon, Ina Salisbury, and Pam Tonino, and I'll have links to their uh, videos and their channels in the description box. Uh, we decided to do a collaboration and uh, each exchange uh, handmade items and um, a gift box and bag of various items that we're going to use in an upcoming project. So I am doing some mini tiles. Let's go ahead and get started. The first of the mini mosaics we're using is this colorful painted mosaic. And these are the materials you'll use for all of them. Couple colors of clay, I'm using black and white, various cutters, um, <clears throat> regular tools, the clay blades, paintbrush, roller. I have some glass tiles, you could also use ceramic tiles, texture sheets, and a variety of paints, mica powders, and pan pastels. First what we'll do is roll our clay out um, on, uh, for me it's the thickest setting on my pasta machine, it's a number one, and then I'll use one of the texture sheets to go ahead and add texture. In this first one, I'm going to just cut out a variety of shapes. And really, this is the same technique that we'll use on all of them. It's really the coloring and the surface techniques that are a little bit different. I'm using this tile, which is approximately four by four, and I'm just cutting various pieces of the texture and placing them randomly on this tile. And you can see that it's really simple. Just go ahead and cut them out and place them, and then you can um, do any refinement that you need to as you go along. Uh, in some of them, I'll put a little, cut a little circle to make a little interest and um, just cut the various pieces out. Once we get all the pieces cut and positioned on our tile, I'll bake that for 45 minutes and don't forget to tent it so you can prevent scorching or burning. Now that I have this out of the oven and cooled, I'm just using various colors of acrylic paint to paint the pieces randomly and then I'll just uh, take off any excess so you get kind of a batik look um, and just do that with all of the different pieces and as many different colors as you, as you like. You can see how it really um, is highlighted when I uh, take the color off and I'm just using a, a paper towel uh, to remove any excess paint. You can see I'm not being overly careful about the colors because I, I really just want to get color down. I'm not too concerned about it being perfect. I like the sort of rustic look. I've got all the pieces colored 
and um, I'm just going to go ahead and put them back into position on the tile. One thing I did do was take a picture of how the, the various um, mosaics were cut uh, and placed so that I'd be able to remember them and it's easy then to just go ahead and place them properly on the sheet so that they fit perfectly. Once I get these all placed I'm going to take some uh, very fine uh, golden um, gold paint. It's, it's golden brand and it's a um, fine gold and I'm just going to highlight just hit the tops of all of the tiles with this gold paint and it'll really give it a nice highlight. Oops, got a little extra paint on there. And there you have it, the completed piece. Here's the next one. In this particular tile, it's really the same process of texturing the sheets, but instead of baking it and then painting it, I'm going to use pan pastel, and this is a metallic pan pastel, uh, to just go ahead and highlight it. So I'm using past, uh, the, the metallic pan pastel and then some purple pan pastel, and then I'll just do the same technique of um, placing and randomly cutting the tiles or cutting the mosaics and then placing them on the tile. thing I like about doing the mosaics this way is that you can really get them to fit well. And once that's finished, I'll go ahead and cure it for the same amount of time, 45 minutes. And then here's my third piece. Same process really. The only thing I've done different here is that I am um, using um, <clears throat> a different type of texture sheet as you can see. And I'm also using pan pastels and some mica powder to highlight the, um, the clay and I do this before baking. So I'm just dabbing off any excess water because you do want to spray your texture or the clay before you um, apply the texture sheet, otherwise it could stick. So here I'm applying some silver metallic pan pastel and then some gold. To give a little bit of contrast and a little pop of color, I'm using some uh, pearl, uh, pearlescent powder. This happens to be Pearlex, same, uh, same method of application, I'm just using my figure, finger to kind of rub that on.
hope you've enjoyed this project and see how easy it is to make these mini mosaics. It's a fun project for paper crafts and um, for wall installations or lots of different uses. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll take a chance um, to use these techniques. Here's the first one with paint and then pan pastels and again with pan pastels and mica powder. Please check out my collaborators Ina, Shami, and Pam. Their links are below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. It's lots of fun to do these techniques. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up or commenting. Thanks for joining me in my studio. Take care.